Alrighty, y'all. Uh, today we're gonna be taking a look at some of the older data that I could find online. Um, it is about two years old at this point, but I think that it's still good data to parse through. Um, and for the most part, you can get a general um, trend and, and extrapolate from there. So uh, what you might be seeing here is a little outdated. I still think it's a not much far off from the reflection of um, what you'll see in today's admissions. So I figured it'd be fun to go through and to point out some of the things that uh, I personally found um, kind of uh, vindicating perhaps uh, uh, in terms of kind of my experience over the years and how the trends that I saw um, uh, with boots on the ground, so to speak, I'm able to then uh, see from a data point of view. The other thing I'd want to say or, or premise this with is that uh, there's a lot of surprises here as well uh, and a lot of um, things that I would uh, be speculating on. Uh, that isn't to say, or that is to say that um, these are all just thoughts that are going through my mind uh, um, as I reference what I'm seeing in terms of the data with uh, the experiences uh, that I've accrued so far and my, my kind of reflections on those. So I hope that this is going to be uh, interesting for y'all. Uh, first and foremost, we're going to kind of see what the data is about. It's UC admissions by major. Um, it's from 2019. You have the transfer admissions, and then you also have the freshman admissions. You also have 2018 data and 2017 data. And it's mainly for UCI. Um, if you take a look at transfer data, there they're gonna be there is gonna be um, all the they're gonna be all the UC campuses um, that'll be showcased. But uh, for when you're looking at individual major choice, um, it's gonna be for UCI, and I think that's a good metric. It's a good barometer. Um, right now, UCI could to me stand as like a good middle ground of. Um, pretty capable grades, test scores, and activities. Um, so if you can manage to um, recognize, or if you can manage to um, keep your expectations within maybe the UCI, UC San Diego, UC LA range, that's like rank 20 to 40 on US News, then this could be somewhat of a good metric to see um, what potential major choices you should look out for. Granted, every campus and every uh, university is gonna have different inputs and outputs. Um, so you, it, it's obviously gonna be better to do more individualized research on a university. But if you want a general rule of thumb, I think UCI is what I'm trying to say is a pretty good measuring stick. Um, so yeah, let's dive right into it. I think for my audience, I'm gonna start with uh, more of the high school to freshman year. Uh, you're going to notice right away that nursing is a pretty popular choice. I, in terms of ranking, I'm assuming it's more than just the number of applicants because as you can see, the, the most amount of applicants actually who applied were for business. And that makes a lot of sense to me. I think if you have a majority of students that uh, if you rounded them up over the last five years, I'd say about 60% of them that I personally met with or talked to had a business major interest. Um, there's a sociocultural or demographic kind of aspect to that as well. Um, I'd say more and more Asians predominantly have started to uh, showcase, uh, at least from a collective level, an interest towards business. Um, prior, uh, in prior years, it would have been uh, very clearly, dominantly, uh, bio or pre-med, and then from there you'd have uh, engineering, particularly towards computer science. Um, business over the last five years has been uh, probably the most significant uh, rising major choice, and it's, I would argue, very prominent. Uh, so it's no surprise to me here that you have a 8% acceptance rate with over 8,000 students who will apply. Uh, the yield rate, 
so the admit rate is how many students they admit. Uh, the yield rate is how many of those students will decide to attend the college. So it will decide to accept the offer from UCI and attend. So you have an 8% acceptance rate with a yield rate of 22%. Look at nursing. Nursing is insane, guys. Look at that. That's 1.7% acceptance rate. So nursing is very, very strong at UCI. In fact, I'd argue many of the UCs, um, nursing is, is very, very underrated in at least like a parent's and student's perspective. I don't think it's underrated in terms of like um, the educational community. Um, but nursing is really hard. I, I feel like the, the connotation there is that uh, pre-med is really hard. Doctor, MD is very hard. And then nursing is slightly easier. Um, and so when we think of it that way, uh, I see the outcome of some parents thinking that it's easier to pursue nursing. Uh, when you look at the percentages, though, and just of getting accepted to college, you know, a, a pre-med bio major can apply in many other aspects. They can apply towards biomedical engineering which is a 31% admit rate, or chemical engineering, or just general biology, or even psychology, they don't have to apply as nursing, right? But if you apply as a nurse, look at that percent acceptance rate you're getting uh, to get the bachelor's degree, a BSN. Um, so I thought that was really interesting to point out. Um, business is definitely, to me, the number one most popular Asian major at this point. You then have follow-ups with computer science. Um, another thing I wanted to point out is that uh, a lot of students are really interested in psychology. There, I, I'd start by separating major choices into uh, STEM majors, so engineering and hard sciences, and then more of the softer sciences and, and humanities, so things like social sciences. Um, psychology, I feel, is a bit in the middle, of course, but uh, sometimes it's the categorization of it leans more towards the softer side. Um, at least in terms of also the students' interests uh, that I'm talking to from high school. And so when I'm seeing psychology here, I'm arguing it's one of the first softer science choices in the rankings here. I mean, everything above that are, is hard sciences or engineering. And I think that's obviously uh, a reflection of the job market um, uh, recruitment. And so... Uh, there's this notion broadly going around that you, sh you should avoid applying for STEM because it's extremely competitive, just go humanities. Um, you want to be careful about how you apply that thought into strategizing whether you want to go with a major choice for some sort of uh, maybe admission optimizing reason. Um, at the end of the day, uh, you should be focused on the the final goal, which is to some, um, you know, a broad set of things from uh, personal enjoyment and gratification of the, the work that they will pursue professionally. Uh, but to others, there's salary brackets or social strata uh, expectations or mobility. Uh, there's many different reasons. Um, but when we're talking about applying for a major choice towards um, schools and colleges, I think colleges are more likely to accept students that show job market um, synergies. And so that is reflected by a lot of articles I've been reading about how colleges are starting to reduce some of their less applicable majors. Um, so just because a major choice is easier to get into because it's not a hard STEM doesn't mean it's easier to get into because some schools may be reducing the number of students they'll accept for those easier, quote unquote, easier majors. Uh, so to that effect, one thing I'd want to point out is as you get lower in the rankings, you want to start looking at how many applicants they admit. Um, you have a significant amount of students getting in as business administration. Um, and if you combine all of the engineerings together, it's a pretty sizable amount as well. But then when you get into places like literary journalism, right, or language science, it's much, much smaller. And so uh, that's one area of thought that I wanted to point that um, I guess a, a, a shorter version, a more condensed version of my thought there is um, 
there is a growing number of availability or space making that they're going to give towards uh, STEM jobs related major choices. Um, as a result of that, there is a reduction in student major choices that uh, reflect more of the softer side. Um, I'd be interested in seeing if that data pans out over the next couple of years and cross-reference that with maybe um, liberal arts colleges. Uh, but so that's just a thought. Other than that, there's the transfer students. I think transfer students, for me, the thing that is really uh, what a transfer student should care about is really the GPA. Uh, this is the, the data that stands out to me here is that you essentially have to be uh, almost a straight A student for the for one, two years. I think it's a minimum um, junior, sophomore, junior transfer for UCs. Um, so you would need two years worth of credit, essentially, by the time you apply. Uh, or by the time you are applying, you should be planning out for two years of credit. Of course, some students will accelerate that with summer and things like that. But anyways, once you are in community college or wherever and you're trying to transfer for that two years worth of credit, you essentially need to be all A's, um, at least for the, the prominent major choices. And you can see business econ being the number one choice, computer science. Um, interested to see that they also have communications coming up here really quickly uh, at rank seven. Interesting. And then you have psychology again. Psychology is a very popular choice, guys. I feel like psychology is the most popular softer science, especially among female students. And that's just from my experience. Um, but yeah, I think the GPA 3.9 or above. If you plan on maybe calling high school a wash and trying to re reboot a bit and use community college and transfer as an option, uh, the first two first year, obviously all the years, but the first year is really going to be the litmus test. Can you get straight A's or not? Because if you can't get straight A's at a community college, then UCLA, UC Berkeley, these and for these major choices are going to be extremely difficult for you to get into. Um, yeah, I hope that this was really interesting to parse through, and I'm glad that you guys are still here if you are to to listen to me kind of ponder about all this 2018 2017 please feel free to check it out um, i'm going to leave the link of this below and again thanks for dropping by